Episode number four of Agatha All Along asks a few questions. It also answers a few important details as well. But the most important question it raises is who the f- is Teen? Because for the longest time in every episode, we have been given hints that Teen could be the son of Agatha or Wanda's son, or he might well be agent of Mephisto. Okay, if you want to know more about the agent of Mephisto, you can check out this video. But anyways, the most important thing it raises is who is Teen? Because right at the end of this episode, we see when Teen was unconscious, Agatha was by his side, and as soon as Teen wakes up, they talk about the sigil, and we can see that Agatha is quite you know quite emotional about Teen at this point in time. But then Teen asks this very important question and he says agatha what happened to your son and at that moment we as an audience think okay he is not agatha's son now and even agatha thinks that right he is not my son and then she gets angry and then she walks off and after this scene right at the end of the episode we see rio walking up to agatha they kind of talk they kind of rekindle more on that later but anyways at the end rio also confirms this that that boy is not your son and that again pisses Agatha off. But now my question to you is, what do you understand from these two scenes? These two scenes indicate that, of course, Teen is not Agatha's son. But what if? What if all this is just a misleading ploy planted by the writers? That means Teen is indeed Agatha's son. I mean, he may be Agatha's son and I have a theory for that, but <laughs> we'll discuss that theory at the end of this episode. But right now, let's talk about my initial thoughts about this episode. So firstly, I thought this episode was quite different from the third one. I mean, same, same, but different as well. Different in the sense that it was less chaotic. The third episode was way more chaotic and same in the sense of the structure of it, right? Because now we can really see that what will happen in every episode, at least it looks like in every episode, we'll see the whole coven getting into a house and every episode will be centered around one particular witch and her backstory and all those things. And then at the end, they'll definitely defeat the demon or curse that is in that house attached to that particular witch and at the end everything will be good maybe not but yeah that will be the general structure of all these episodes and i'm also liking how casually they are defeating the villains because they are really not using all the cliched ways of fighting the curse or fighting the villains they are doing this quite casually quite fun quite humorous way because in this episode we see they used a music number <laughs> They used a music number to use the protective spell and yeah, it was interesting. I mean, it's not cliched and it, they are not overdoing it, but we can see that this is the theme of the show. The theme is partly funny, partly humorous, a bit spooky and I'm admiring it because it is not using all the cliche tropes that we are so fed up of seeing in every superhero thing that we see. Anyways, we also got a confirmation on the relationship of Agatha and Rio as well because in the first episode, it was just hinted at but in this episode it is now confirmed that Rio and Agatha had a thing they were ex-lovers or they may be even lovers at this point in time as well but yeah they had a history and they were kind of rekindling in this episode now let's talk about the theory that I mentioned earlier so the way I think of it is that all the dialogue surrounding teen not being Agatha's son in this episode is actually a misleading information and the real thing is teen is indeed Agatha's son biological son that means physically he is her son but mentally he is not he might well be brainwashed and that is the reason why even teen doesn't know that he is the son of agatha but agatha knows that he is her son because you don't have to know a person's name to know who they are now this clan clearly hints us at that agatha knows teen is her son but the way teen says this line what really happened to your son it really pissed agatha off and yeah rightfully so she is really pissed at rio as well for confirming that thing that boy isn't yours and if I talk about Rio and what Rio said about Teen not being Agatha's son, now here is what I think she really meant. By the outset, it's quite evident that Rio was mentioning that Teen is not Agatha's son. But what if again we try to read between lines and we get something like this? Rio also knows that Teen is Agatha's biological son, but even Rio knows that he has been brainwashed and he is not her son in kind of truer sense at this point because biologically, yes, he is her son, but mentally not and that is what rio actually meant by this line my boy isn't yours and all of this conversation about rio not being agatha's son was actually just a tactic used by the writers to make us believe make us audience believe that <laughs> Teen is not really Agatha's son. I hope I didn't confuse you. Anyways, let's recap it quickly. By this dialogue, what really happened to your son? And this dialogue as well. 
My boy isn't yours. We think that Teen is not indeed Agatha's son, but what if this was all a misdirection and Teen is the son of Agatha but only biologically and now at this point Teen's mind has been brainwashed. Teen's brain has been brainwashed and therefore even he doesn't know that Agatha is her true mother. So this was basically the whole theory. But as all theories, not all theories could be true. <laughs> Therefore, we really can't discount the fact that Teen could might well be Wanda's son as well and not Agatha's son. But by all this, we have to admire the writers because they are doing a really good job of just creating this mystery and just developing this mystery episode by episode about the true identity of Teen. And that's all for this episode. Please do tell me in the comments what do you think about this episode. And please, if you like this video, please check out other videos on my channel as well. And if you like those as well, consider subscribing the channel because it helps a lot. Because it helps a lot. And as always, thank you so much for watching.